Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episodes 3 and 4 of the 4DJ Petite Mix. Okay, so yeah, your girl was wondering where the heck episode 3 was, like, last week, and it didn't come out at, like, the typical time around, like, 8 o'clock in the morning and such. And so I kind of said, okay, well, if it comes out next weekend or between whatever, I'll watch it with episode four. Checked on Monday and it came out. And I was like, okay, we'll just watch it with episode four. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode three. And three, two, one, go. No, I'm eating a burger. Why would I want to have an interview when I'm eating a burger? <laughs> Poor babies, they don't even have time to do with it. Oh my god! <laughs> Can't you just leave them alone? Huh. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I mean, it works. Oh, Jen. robots oh my god they were so fucking cute oh i can't it's so adorbs like no <laughs> but seriously rest in peace robo peaky peaky i mean you know as someone you gotta feel bad for peaky peaky and the rest of these girls in these units they are not gonna really have that much free time i mean you know before like you know, when Riku and Maho were not friends yet, and they were just like, mm, acquaintances, kind of. Yeah, you got all this free time, but you know, once you become big as someone like Peaky Peaky, um, Fonton Maiden, possibly even Ma well, yeah, you can, we can literally put everybody, Fonton Maiden, Rosal uh, Rosalia, Rondo, my bad, but we can also put Rosalia in that mix, because Bendery, but when you get up to those, like, fields of you are getting recognized while you're going to the store um the mall just out and about and stuff that's how you know you truly made it and such and so <laughs> because peaky peaky is like um essentially of rinku school um the head honchos of it and they're hella popular of course they're gonna skyrocket even more in popularity and such and they're not going to have the time that they want to be on their own and or practicing because no matter what they're always going to get bombarded by um <laughs> journalists and you know wanting to ask them and give them interviews whether it's you know by phone video whatever and just like that because they want to know how they're you know currently doing asking questions this is that and the third and such but i do understand how they feel because i mean 
it happens to everybody or especially when you get to a certain point in your life and you're like famous as fuck and you're like oh shit like damn i'm getting asked a lot and i mean a lot of questions but i'm glad they handled it well i mean i was expecting like something completely not with the robots because i was like what the heck are we doing where are we going but the fact that the robots like stepped up and stepped in for Peaky Peaky to allow them to have the time to practice, hone their craft a little bit more, get um, get to the point where, yes, they are great, but they can be even better. Because, of course, there is always that one person, you know, it, essentially, like if I'm going back to comparing this to Bang, uh, Bang Dream, um, Yukina or a little bit of Kasumi. Um, or it's her, her name's Layer, right? I believe so. Um, or even freaking Choo Choo. Like, you know how everyone's like, you know, we're good or we're great, but we can be even better than that. We, we have this, like, here's us and here's everybody else, but let's still be above us. Like, you know, this is that and the third. And I think everybody in these DJ units are striving to be the best that they could. And such. And I was like, yeah, they did really well. And I loved it. It was cute. Like, oh my god. Why does everyone look so fucking cute in this chibi guy style? I mean, oh, I can't. It's so fucking adorable. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four in three, two, one, go. <sighs> oh, well done, Maiden. Is that the... Hmm? <gasps> Puppy! Saki, it's so weird that you read people's emotion by a color, but you know what? I love that. It's something different that I've never seen truly in an anime before. And I mean, this is honestly the first... Yeah, can you read your bandmates? Bright red. What? Well, yeah, cause I mean the music notes were red already. So is everybody on Filter made in bright red? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, what's your color? black basically <laughs> I thought Saki's color would be like blue <laughs> but okay hold on the fact that Saki was like spot on for <laughs> Ibuki Toa and Noah alright I mean cause like I was expecting okay uh, Ibuki just to be red Toa to be green because she had green music notes and then whatever color Noah was. Not for all three of them to be bright red as fuck. Like, I mean, yes. Like, we know that Ibuki, Noah, and Toa are very passionate in what they want to do. How all these girls in this series are very, very passionate. Specifically, if you are currently also playing um, the game at the same time. And how they very are 
they're really really passionate about the drive and what they want to do um to better themselves as a dj unit and such i mean it, it's sweet because of the fact is that this is the group and i till this day and i wish we got to see this because you you technically get to see this in first mix but not to the point where it's like i feel like i know everything about font a photon we we get to see the finished product and this is also from the fact is in the game um especially when the fact is i think between we're about to go into march so between march and april when the game finally gets uh an english version or really just an english language slipped on the japanese app um, and when we go back and to read the story about each of these DJ units and such, I really wish that the anime, especially when it focused on the episodes about Fontomaden as a group, that we got a little more backstory on them to see them during their auditions and everything. But of course, I get the fact is that when you have a 12 episode series, you cannot have every little thing that fans want and such and that's why certain things are like oh we're gonna save this for the game and oh we're gonna save this for the anime but um it still would have been nice i mean you know you're you're seeing them and especially you're seeing it with um their manager rochelle um <laughs> essentially because of the fact is you need that connection between those two and what it is and to see certain things still i mean I thought season one was also going to show us the reason why Rochelle's character and Nana Mizuki's character eventually ended um, their group and such. And why Rochelle went deeper into the music world or in the entertainment world and why Nana Mizuki's character eventually, you know, um, left the world of being an idol and such and is basically a, reg a regular person working at a cafe with the master. Then also the fact is the master was also a part of a DJ unit. And I'm guessing with the fact that we just started the D4 Fest-ish um, and everything, I'm guessing by the more and more we get into the road to D4 Fest or just D4 Fest entirely with the events and everything, I think that's when we're going to learn a little bit more about the story and everything and essentially why but i think also what they're going to do is when we get a second season because i'm guessing the show is also going to get a second and third season as i said with first mix um very similar to bandity because mostly every like bushimo type series that is bandity or whatever usually get about one to three seasons at the latest and Mm, kind of maybe a movie i mean the only one that currently does not have a second season but is getting a movie is um the aliganas bandere that just has season one but that's getting a movie and so i was like okay they got an edge on that i was like you know bandere they have a movie which essentially i haven't seen it yet uh, I know it came out like a while ago and such, but I still want to watch it. But yeah, I mean, it, it would have been really, really nice. And they could be smart and be like, okay, let's choose one unit out of the six units to give like a, with a spinoff within a spinoff. You know how like in Bandari where we had um, the chibi version of everybody and then we had pastel life and such. They could still do that, but I would still want to see not just one major unit. I would like to see all six. I understand that like petite mix is literally every unit getting an episode or several episodes focused on them, but it would be nice to just see, you know, like a weekly little thing with, you know, Happy Around, then Phantom Maiden, then Peaky Peaky, Rondo, Mermaid, Lyrical Lily, but it really just depends on what Bushimo is currently really doing for this show and for this series and for these girls because as of right now we don't we we know like the bare minimum because I, I've been following this show uh, this series ever since 2018 and there are times where I still don't know where the heck this show is gonna go or where the series is gonna go I am hoping for like when we get to the third and final season um they do the same thing like Banzi and give them the movie or whoever is going to be the most 
popular band by the time we get to our um, first anniversary by the end of October of this year, eventually, a couple of years later, they're like, oh, hey, you know, since people like the, this group so much, let's give them a movie. But really, at the end of the day, we ain't going to really know until we get there. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of D4DJ Petite Mix. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join my squad, And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode five. Bye, guys.